NCAA basketball totals for Friday, February 17th. Kind of a short slate on uh, NCAA Fridays, but I think we have a couple good matchups here. In uh, first, the Horizon League, uh, I have a write-up uh, with Oakland and Valparaiso that you definitely want to check out. For our totals picks today, we're going to head to the Atlantic 10 with uh, Virginia Commonwealth taking on Richmond. And we're also going to uh, take a look uh, at the Mid-Atlantic with Ryder and uh, Kinesius. So some pretty good matchups here and uh, some good games overall now that we're heading into the NBA All-Star break. Don't forget as well, sbrpicks.com, sportsbook review, all the lines, all the totals, all the numbers are there for you to check out. SBR, uh, sbrpicks.com, uh, a lot of handicappers there you want to check out. YouTube channel, Facebook page, our NBA Live segment will be back on Sunday, 4 o'clock Eastern. We'll be talking about the All-Star game, so that'll be a lot of fun. Great segment. Uh, it's been great talking with you guys, and uh, be sure to tune into that. Let's look at some totals in NCAA hoops. Still having a pretty good season so far. And let's see if we can continue and let's see if we knock uh, knock two out today. Let's see if we can go two and zero oh on our card today. The first game we're going to look at here here excuse me <laughs> is uh, Kinesius and Ryder. Surprising total here, 158 and a half. Now the first time they matched up, oddsmakers had the total at 158 and a half, and they went well under going to 138. So we're going to take a look at that matchup in which uh, Ryder beat Canisius at Canisius. That was uh, probably a little bit surprising, you know, especially when we look at uh, the standings where Canisius is uh, 9-7 and seven and Ryder is 7-9. and nine. Uh, That was a bit, you know, a little bit earlier in the season. In that game, Ryder shot pretty well, 50%, uh, but only 15% from distance. And Canisius did not shoot well at all, 38% and 24% from distance, respectively. Um, I see this game going much differently. Now, the tempo was what really surprised me in this one. Ryder got up just 46 attempts. Now, that is a far cry when we look at them, and they're home in this matchup, so I expect for them to control the tempo. 46 attempts, but on the season, they are averaging 62 attempts. They rank in the top 30 in the country as far as attempts per game. So that was really, really slow. That would have ranked dead last in all of NCAA hoops. So look for them to really get up and down tonight. And Kinesius, they're averaging 61 attempts. They have no problem. Other side of the ball, they allow that sort of stuff. And you're talking about two teams that can shoot a little bit. You know, Kinesius, they, act, they shoot. Well, they shot in that game 38%, but they shoot 46% on the season. Ryder, not bad at all, 43.3%. They're not great three-point shooting teams. Excuse me, Ryder's not a great three-point shooting team, but Canisius sits over 38% from distance. So, you know, on the other side of the ball, we got some defenses here that are lack uh, defensively. Uh, Canisius really allows opponents to score and get up and down with opponents shooting over 48% against them. Uh, Ryder's a bit better, but still, they're, you know, nothing to really shout about as they rank outside the top 100 teams in most defensive statistics, and they're allowing opponents 74.4 points per game. So look for this game to get, you know, really get up and down. 158 and a half, that's what they said at last time. They went under, but odds makers didn't blink. They went ahead and said that number there again. I think they're right, so I'm going to go ahead and take over the total. Look for a track meet in that matchup. We're going the other way on this one here. we got Virginia Commonwealth taking on Richmond. Now, they met uh, February 1st. Make sure I have that date right. Yeah, 81-74 final. Osbakers had at 147. In fact, these two teams have gone over the total the last five times they have met. Now, in that game uh, with Virginia Commonwealth winning uh, 81 to 74, they both shot extremely well, about 50% from the floor. Now, oddsmakers have come up with this total here today at 145. So I'm going to go under. Again, kind of the opposite of what we did, what we just talked about with that Kinesius and Ryder game. But I'm going to go under in this matchup because these two teams can actually play some defense. So, you know, when we look at that first matchup, they both shot well from the floor. But the pace was not that fast. Now, unlike or Ryder, that, I thought that was an, an anomaly where they got up that 46 attempts. I think they're going to get up a lot more tonight. In this matchup here, I think this is about what we're going to see with uh, Richmond. They got up 57 attempts. VCU got up 52 attempts. I think we're going to see something around that area. That's not really a fast pace. Both pretty good offensive teams. Let's break them down a little bit more statistically. Um and there's one more thing I want to check out right now. Yeah, BCU's leading uh, the A-10 right now at 11-2. and two. Richmond's right behind them at 9-4. and four. This is going to be a good matchup here. The game is at Richmond. But you're talking about two teams here that can actually play some defense. Richmond, they're allowing 72 points per game, but opponents are shooting just 42.5%. Excuse me. Uh, overall from the field. Excellent, though, is they're allowing opponents to shoot just 30.2% from distance. They rank 11th in the country in opponent three-point shooting percentage. And VCU, they shoot over 35% from distance, so that should come into play. Virginia Commonwealth, across the board, they rank in just about the top 50 in most defensive categories, and they're allowing opponents just 66.2 points per game. That ranks 45th. So good defense, uh, you know, 
by VCU. I expect them to keep Richmond to a, a reasonable number. And a Richmond, they're going to have to focus on their defense if they expect to uh, to go ahead and uh, kind of upset here uh, Virginia Commonwealth. Let's take a look at that line real quick since I'm, I'm going ahead. I'm going ahead and talking about that game. I have no play on that Ryder Kinesius uh, game, but let's see if I can pull this up. And if I can, I'll tell you about this VCU game. So oddsmakers right now, so it's 145. We're going under that total. And oddsmakers have the total. Uh, sorry, I'm having a little trouble with my vision here uh, picking this up. Uh, they have it at, yeah, Virginia Commonwealth favored by three and a half. I think Richmond might be able to actually pull off the upset here. If they could play defense uh, like, like, statistically they have been you know vcu is pretty tough that's going to be a good game so anyways quick recap we got a kinesius rider over the 158 and a half and then we got a virginia commonwealth and richmond under the 145 two great matchups here and that's it for our ncaa segment on the totals don't forget to look at uh for my write-up with oakland and valparaiso and we'll be continuing looking at ncaa hoops throughout the weekend we'll be back with the nba live segment for the all-star game and i wish you luck on your picks today research before you bet be sure to check out SPR Picks for the best game predictions, breakdowns, and much, much more.